Hey guys, today we're going to talk about localization in AngularJS. Uh, so on the left here, I've got uh, an application wired up with ng-app. I've got Angular on the page. I'm going to set up a quick controller here. So ng-controller equals the controller. And then I'm just going to have a couple things that we're going to output. So one of them is going to be a date, uh, which is something that could need to be localized. Uh, so uh, I mean, my, va my variable is going to be called date as well. I don't know. Maybe I should call it something else, but whatever. And I'm going to say that I want that. I'm going to use this built-in filter to get the full date. And then the next one we're going to do is some currency. So I'm going to have a variable called money, and I'm going to filter that with the built-in uh, currency filter. So down here in my app, we are going to set up a quick... Ooh. Angular application called app, no dependencies, our controller, the controller, and into that, of course, we're going to inject scope, and that's all we need for this. Whoops. Okay, so we're going to say scope dot, sorry, dollar scope dot date equals uh, new date, so it's just the current date. I'm going to say scope dot money equals and let's say 5,000. Okay, so if I load that up in the browser, we're going to get exactly what we expected. We get the full date. We get uh, the uh, value for money passed in um, using the dollar sign. The, uh, the, the default is English in this case. That's our locale. Uh, using the comma for the separator and the decimal for the decimal and so forth. Uh, now, if we wanted to uh, 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 localize this to some other language, uh, we can go here to code.angular.angularjs.org, uh, go to the version that we're using, in my case it's 1.2.9, and we've got this i18n directory, and uh, that stands for inter international la, 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 internationalization. If you ever wondered why it's i18n, there's 18 letters between the I and the N, uh, between the first and the last. And localization is L10N. There's 10 letters in between the L and the N at the end. Uh, so these are all localization files. If we take a look at them, they got a bunch of things going on here to represent uh, AM and PM, the days of the week, the months of the year, and so forth, different formats. Uh, somewhere in here, there's a currency symbol. I don't even know what this uh, what this is, AR. I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, there's a currency symbol there, all using uh, UTF-8 uh, symbols, uh, a decimal separator. So let's just throw this in there. I don't even know what uh, nationalization that's going to be. But uh, so what we're going to do is just add this to our page right there as the source. And let's take a look at what that does. So some sort of, oh, AR must be Arabic. Uh, I don't, I'm not sure if that's like a lira or whatever it is. But uh, you can also see that the... Uh, separator for the decimal is a comma in this case our value is 5000 so this is 5000 in our in american or in english it would be dot zero zero uh, and if we come down here and see the uh, decimal decimal separator you can see it's that symbol right there uh, so let's just try a couple others let's see uh what do we got something let's see so these are all en here es is going to be spanish now there's lots of different types of es uh spanish in Spain is not the same as Spanish in Mexico. Uh, so this is CR. I don't know what that is, but let's load that up. Now we got Sabado, you know, that's cool. Uh, and we've obviously got the Euro, and in this case it's at the end. They're using uh, the group separator is the decimal, and the decimal separator is the comma, which is completely backwards for English. And uh, so, you know, this is pretty cool. Let's, let's try one more, maybe something a little crazy. Let's see, J for Japanese, E, F, G, H, I, uh, K, that'll be Korean, that's kind of cool. Let's try this one, J, A, J, P, so I'm assuming that's Japanese. Drop that in there, load this up, boom, we've got yen, and we've got, you know, all these Chinese characters and stuff. I'm not saying I know what they mean, but hey, you know, it's localized to whatever, you know, the localization there, or the internationalization file that you drop into place. Um, there's a lot of schemes out there for loading up the appropriate internationalization locale file. I'm not going to go into those, but the idea is, you know, read it from the browser and then uh, just call this URL and then pass in. So this would be your variable right here. 
uh, you just pass in what it is you're trying to get and then that would load up your uh, your internationalization file and so if you've got data like dates and uh, 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 numeric values and things like that you can you can obviously present that information in the locale of the browser that's view viewing the information anyway so uh, it's really easy to use there's lots of potential here lots of possibilities and uh, so hope you guys enjoyed it have a good one